Yeah, it's February 8th, 2022. Welcome to the Rancast. This is a teaser. Um, don't forget, like, subscribe, get all of our wrestling content, specifically Warpath, which happened last weekend on Patreon. It's just been uploaded. And uh, the first thing I want to talk about, or just briefly, because I want to keep this to about four minutes, because that seems to be the trend, Casey, is uh, Ken Anderson and the Reddit stuff. You know, did you hear anything about no, that? No, what happened? So Kenny started a training facility in St. Paul with Davari and Molly Holly. Okay. I don't like Sean Davari. I don't like him, you know. But him and Kenny have a bond that supersedes a lot of shit. They've been friends for a long time, and they broke in about the same time. And the truth is, to the matter is, they wouldn't have gotten WWE jobs if they hadn't harassed WWE. What I mean by that is they would fly themselves, drive as far as they possibly could to the tapings every Monday to help out with the ring or anything that they could. They would beg their way in to do any kind of labor. Seeing them around 30 to 50 times, they finally started to take notice of these guys, you know. Mm. So he gets signed to OVW. You take it from there. I mean, he wasn't there when I was there. Oh, I thought he was. No, he was on his, just on his way out. He may, he may have done, when I first got there, Ken uh, may have done a couple of televisions, and that was about it. So well, he probably had gotten there maybe a year before me. Okay. So Kenny, he had his first professional match for me. Kenny actually hit me up about training, and I fucked up because I had a conscience. He lived in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, which is further from Chicagoland than Green Bay. And it was a school opening up up there, and I liked the two guys that were running it. So I said, well, should refer you to these guys, you know, and I kissed away that motherfucking training fee to be a decent guy, which that was pretty stupid looking <laughs> back. But anyway... Kenny was, uh, he had a lot of heart. Like, he would come down on Sundays, and dude, that's a Sunday. Like, you come all the way down, you train with us, and then you drive all the way back, it's fucking, that's your day, you know? And I respected that, you know? So when I started running certain areas when Kenny broke in, he would just show up and help, and of course, you booked a guy, you know? So the first professional match he had, I booked him as, and you always like to laugh about it, but Two Rivers you Jack. like to laugh about it. Two Rivers Jack. Yeah. You know, I thought Two that was Rivers. a better gimmick. From what I understand, and I don't remember who the hell I heard it from. Might even been Kenny. Um, so the way he got noticed by Vince is Vince made a rare trip or whatever. His regular, regular three-month, six-month trip down to OVW. And Kenny did this shtick that he used to do in high school. In high school, he was a... Uh, commentator for the football games in Two Rivers. And he would say to the guys, Met Tech was made by Bob Wilson. Wilson. So he was doing that at OVW about himself. Mm -hmm. Ken Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. And Vince Poppins said, that's what we need. People that'll take the bull by the horns and let's face it in that like Kenny did. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about what else happened, but the bottom line is, you know, most people around wrestling know who Ken is. He tried to start a school, and it's motherfucking hard to try to start a school. And these are guys that have money, okay? They have money, but not many people can throw good money at bad money, at a bad investment, because it's hard. Right. It's not never, ever, ever you're going to make money, because you're fucking not. You're going to break even, and at some point, once in a while, you'll have a decent month, you know? That's what we do here. We've been doing this for a long time. But I know it's going somewhere, so that's why I keep doing what I'm doing. So, Reddit. I, I don't know, man. I was... Uh... All right, one more minute, and then we'll close it up. So, I, I don't know about this Reddit, but Reddit, man, just makes me sick because it seems to be the place where everybody goes to, like, really be rotten, son of a bitch. <laughs> I think maybe because it's sneakier. I don't know. Oh, you yeah. can't... Uh... It's harder to track who it is. So Yeah, I don't think, I think it's, uh, I mean, you have a profile, but your name, or you don't know who it is. We had this punk, and I'm talking about a fucking punk, that uh, went on Reddit and said, PPW training sucks. I didn't learn anything <laughs> in six months. Well, the guy came six times in six months, <laughs> and he couldn't even get through the drills, you know? <laughs> so don't come here thinking, like, like I say it all the time, 
that sling commercial, I watch a lot of wrestling on TV. I got this because yeah. you don't know shit. I think I mentioned it last week because well, what we do is – No, I'm just saying what we Spill it into the Kennedy thing, will you? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Never mind. Go ahead, Randy. No, go ahead. No, 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 no. Why do you have to get pissy? I'm just saying. Go into the because Kennedy of... thing. Unless you want to say – No, no, it's not important. It's not okay. Important, Pertinent, not about important. Everything you have to say about this business is important, mm-hmm. but I'm talking about pertinent to this. So I'm going to wrap it up. Somebody buried him and said that, uh, you know, there were people. One person starts it with, oh, they took my money and never opened up and all that shit. And, uh, you know, the bottom line to it is Ken went out and go ahead and follow the guy. He's got a public, uh, his, his uh, Facebook is public and see what he had to say. I, I shared the effing thing. Because, uh, you know, the bottom line is, is it's all bullshit. And, you know, I, I'm not going to say Ken's the greatest trainer in the world, but if, uh, compared to what's out there, he's pretty fucking good. Sure. You know, Kenny knows the uh, the politics and he knows how to work hard. And if, if I'm uh, living in the Minneapolis area and this kid's got a place he's opening up, that's where I'm joining. Yeah. You know, out of everybody yeah. else yeah. up there. Yeah. And all you got to do is follow Kenny's roadmap. And the bottom line was the motherfucker was about heart. Uh All right, that's my shtick on Ken Anderson.